We, we've done something wrong here because we've invested $40 billion over the last several decades in fusion research, and we're behind. How did that happen? At a recent House hearing on fusion energy, Congressman Pat Harrigan pressed witnesses on why the United States is falling behind China in the race for fusion power. Listen as they explain the obstacles right here. Are they smarter than we are? Are their strategic investments better because they're doing a significant amount of investment in a very short period of time when we are basically running a slow burn of investments across a long period of time. And, and I say this only from the perspective of I hate losing and I'm not willing to let this country lose to China in this space. How do we fix it? Uh, thank you for the question. I also hate losing. Um, uh, the what they've, what they've done is they've done the same playbook they did in other areas. So they're not a leader in innovation. We are a long-term investment leader in innovation. But when the time comes to put something at risk at scale, they have the ability to mobilize to do that in a way that the US doesn't. They have a centralized control system that allows them to pool large amounts of money, capital, and organizations to go and build things that need to be built. And Fusion needs things built. And so the fusion advances don't happen just in labs of single PIs of bright people that come here. They happen in coordinated fashion by building multi-billion dollar facilities. And the Chinese have seen that those facilities will pay off. They saw NIF. And they immediately said, let's build one that's a little bit bigger. It's not as advanced. It's probably a generation behind in technology. But we'll make up for it in speed, scale, and coordination. And like the reports are that there's people working 24 hours a day on building that, there are students on cots because that's the playbook, hard and fast, the minute the window opens. We sort of are still debating whether the window is open, and that's to our detriment. The investment that's been made, there's been tremendous payoff. I mean, the, the U.S. has innovated and got us to the point where we are. The world, you know, China is building things that were designed and developed and, and ideated in the U.S., right? Um, so the moment that we have before us is to actually carry it forward. So we, we've set the ground, we set the stage, we set the ball, right? We just need to spike it, and that's where we are. It's not that we failed. If we don't take action now, we will. So now's the time to, to, to move forward, and we have to change our, our, man, our, our approach and our mindset. We're, we're trying to get to a, a commercialized energy source. We got a lot of R&D to do, but we have to change the way we're approaching it. We, we can't afford to lose this, and, and I wouldn't have, we wouldn't have started our company if we didn't think we could win this, our company could win this, and America could win this. Um, I want to reassure you, I think we, we still do have the lead, but now is the time to, to act. For more congressional news, stay tuned to Congress Clips.